was a lot of fun in that locker room, and I didn't want to leave. So uh, excited about the victory. Certainly congratulate Washington State on a hard-fought game. Uh, they played well. They played, they, they've really improved as a program, and they're to be congratulated. I'm thrilled with the uh, resolve that we showed uh, when things weren't uh, looking like they were going our way. Uh, and I'm thrilled that we stepped up when absolutely necessary to uh, find a way to win the game. Uh, you know, the big story of the game for me, not only as a head coach, but also the quarterback coach, is a guy that had been demoted, had been sent to the, uh, the gallows of quarterback uh, life is when, you're, when you uh, lose your job, especially after the first quarter that he had against Texas. Uh, you lose a great portion of the reps that you've been enjoying, and yet you keep your attitude. And, and I'm very proud of Kevin. We had conversations about how he needed to, but it's easier to say than it is to do. And I just am thrilled for him to be able to step into that situation and respond in the way he did, especially when there was portions in the game where he was missing some throws that uh, – you know, that he, we need to hit to keep our offense on the field. And, and obviously, you can point to the fact that he didn't get as many reps as he used to and so on and so forth, but he didn't make any excuses. He stepped in there and he, and he made plays at, down the stretch, which were huge. Uh, so I'm very proud and happy for him and uh, looking forward to a much-needed rest, trying to get some of our injured players back. Uh, and we'll keep our fingers crossed that they'll be ready to go when we get uh, on the plane to go to Tucson a week from Wednesday. So uh, looking forward to uh, nursing our team back to health, fixing things that need to be fixed, and hopefully playing uh, a great game uh, on Thursday night television uh, down in Tucson. Questions? Rick, when you were down five at 25-20, uh, and uh, the deep ball to Nelson Rosario. Can right. you kind of explain uh, what that was like going through your hand, or your mind saying <laughs> one hand and, it's, and he's open? <coughs> well, Nelson makes a lot of one-handed catches. Uh, and, you know, we had some chances tonight to make a lot of those plays. Washington State had made up their mind that they were going to jam the box and not let us run like we ran against them a year ago. And their strategy was working because whether we dropped the pass or we missed the pass, we weren't hitting the percentage you need to hit to drive them out of that. And so even though it was late in the game and the score was in the balance, they were up there ganging up on the run. And so we tried it again. And uh, I don't think the, the ball was the best ball, but it certainly was in the vicinity. And uh, Nelson took it on upon himself. Uh, to make the play. You know, Nelson felt bad on that interception at the end of the first half that he didn't knock the ball down and make sure that, you know, they didn't end up with the, with the, the interception costing us points. Uh, <coughs> so it was a uh, terrific play, came at, the, at a very important time in the game and obviously uh, a huge turning point. Uh, Coach, was this the best defensive effort for your team this year? Well, you know, I don't, haven't looked at the numbers, and, and certainly, uh, you know, they, they went up and down the field. But when we got them in the red zone and, and the way we stepped up, especially that drive where they, we missed, they missed the field goal and then they called us for landing on our own player. I can't wait to look at the film on that one. Uh, and they got three more downs and we stopped them again. I thought that was awesome. And uh, to go in there now with the lead, 28-25, and get them stopped and get a turnover, that uh, is just huge. And those are the kind of things that happen that hopefully are catalysts to improvement, more confidence, and so forth. Again, we're going to get some players back uh, in the next game. Uh, hopefully, you know, a couple of our front line guys will return to action. And, uh, but it's great to have them celebrate like they are right now. When, when Richard came off the field, <coughs> was it clear that, uh, you know, the extent of it? And, and when did, if not, when did you? Infect? When I, he was laying on the ground when I went out there and they were talking to him and I said, so and they were asking where it hurt and as they were, and I was worried knee uh, and it was clear it wasn't a knee, it was an ankle. And uh, they, they, he goes right there, right there. And I looked down and, and it wasn't at a place where you'd call it a sprain. You know, and, and so I was worried that, uh, and obviously the way he couldn't put any 
weight on his foot uh, uh, made it clear that he wasn't going to come back tonight. Uh, but if there's a tougher guy, I don't know him. He, uh, he's a resilient son of a gun, and he'll, he'll be back as soon as anybody humanly could be back. And, and uh, I'm proud of him, too. Yeah, I thought he uh, – uh, there was a couple balls early that I thought could have been a little lower, but, uh, you know, he, he was – that ball he threw to Randall that unfortunately we didn't catch uh, was perfect, you know. And, and so I just uh, – we're going to miss Richard, but uh, as is the case, the next guy's up and, and Richard will work his butt off to get back. Rick, you talked about uh, Kevin coming back and what that meant to, for his app, but when it's 28-25, you guys get the turnover and you need one more first down. I thought that was a pretty gutsy <coughs> call to, to throw it. If it works and it did, you win the game. If it right. doesn't and it picks off, it's a, it's a nightmare. Was that your call? What went into that decision? Well, the down and distance was third and three, and we felt that they jumped and we reached out and touched them, which is the rule. If they jump off sides and we touch them, they're off sides. Unfortunately, it wasn't ruled that way. I can't wait to look at that call as well. But uh, so now it's third and eight, and we don't want to kick it back to them. And so we're going to trust our guy. And we got in there and, and, and gave a run action so that we could hopefully get some. I thought Joe was open in the flat, uh, but Kevin saw. Uh, Josh and, and, and pinned it to him and you know, we call it a kindergarten ball at least I do these kids don't remember that when you, old days and when you're a kindergartner you got notes pinned to you so that when you went home they don't do that anymore they have email now so I said a kindergarten ball what's that and I anyway long story but uh, he pinned it to him and uh, it was a great play by both athletes I know you have deadlines. Anything else? Thanks for staying up late.